Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. So we're in Liverpool today. We are doing, so I don't know how kind of well known it is. In England they have what's called Sunday trading hours. So we were getting into Liverpool at about 10 o'clock this morning and none of the shops will open until later on because there's a restriction in England where shops can only trade for a certain amount of hours on a Sunday. Um, so we had a few hours to kill before the shops were going to open this morning and the bus that we're on, the man was running a tour which it was 7.50 and it would basically take the time between us getting to Liverpool and the shops opening so we were like well we may as well. Um, so we have driven through Toxteth which is where Peaky Blinders films from Watery Lane so I will insert that footage. We were on the bus so you really didn't see it very much and the whole area has been regenerated so it doesn't, when they film Peaky Blinders like it had been really run down and not regenerated when they started filming and then they sprayed it black anyway so it's not instantly recognisable but if you know the show you'll know the kind of film, uh, you'll know the, you'd know the street to kind of look at it and see how it becomes a street. Um, and we went by St George's Hall but again from the coach so you didn't really see it. So uh, see those, those steps over there on the other side of the, the bus. And every year they have Peaky Blinders filming in front of them. And on night with Captain Hook. And she's brandishing. But we have made a first stop of the morning, which is now we're into the Beatles part of the tour. So we started with a sort of general Liverpool tour and we're now into the Beatles part. And we have stopped at Penny Lane, which as far as I can tell is, is just a stretch of road. One and did you learn anything about <laughs> It, it's, I don't know if it's literally just the name, I don't think there's anything that significant about the road other than that Penny Lane is the song. So this is the Penny Lane sign. Ah, oh, there it is. So Paul McCartney signed yeah. this. And that's David Bedio from... Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. From the lights, but there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> These are not the snake earrings that I want, but I do like them. I like this. So I didn't get the earrings and that and other stories either, but anyway, as I was saying, we're now shopping. Um, we've only got two hours, but I feel like I've really enjoyed Liverpool so far and I would definitely come back. I would definitely do another one of these bus tours. Um, the only thing is you don't get a lot of time in each of them. Um, but Liverpool feels, it feels a lot more chilled, although I do say that fully realising that my time in Manchester was four hours in the middle of a Saturday that was the first Saturday that the Christmas markets had gone live, so I might be not, might not have had the best kind of might base to judge that by. Yeah. yeah. Oh look, a cute Christmas tree with hearts. There's like a little market. Can you guys see that? Good. Anyway, so yeah, today feels a lot more chilled, but it is also a Sunday. So I am really enjoying the bus trip. Would do it again. The only thing is you really can't pick who you end up on the bus trip with outside of the actual people you come with. So we did our tour this morning and the, the tour guide does like loads of chat and you paid for it on top of like the actual trip. So everyone who was on it had paid for it. And there's loads of chat, so like she gave us this whole spiel about how the National Trust owned John Lennon's childhood home and Paul McCartney's childhood home and like they do it so that they take a bus 
from the city centre out because they're in kind of residential areas and they go to both houses and whatever and they ta she talked for ages about how they have restored Paul McCartney's childhood home to look like it would have in the 1950s and how they got really lucky because like the neighbours a few doors down were replacing the windows so they got the original windows and like somebody else was getting rid of their like cast iron bath and blah 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 so you can go inside it. Talked for ages about this and then we got off at Paul McCartney's house and somebody's like so can you go in? And it's just like and you can like you can proper tell that Lauren and I were like good students <laughs> at school because we were definitely sitting there like did you not listen to the tour guide? Like, you're not passing the test at the end of this. Um, but we have also got, I'm sorry, the sun's coming in. We've got a rather loud lady who's sitting behind us. I feel like my way of knowing if I'm being harsh is by deciding if Lindsay would be annoyed by a person. And I think <laughs> even Lindsay would be annoyed. Lindsay is the nicest person I know. And she's most forgiving, like, Lindsay's, you know, the best person I know probably in terms of her kindness and her generosity to the human spirit, whereas I'm not. But I think even Lindsay would be annoyed by this woman. And like, everything this tour guide said, she knew better. And I feel really sorry for her friend. I feel like her poor friend is seriously regretting all her life choices being here this weekend. But anyway, we're at the Morphe store. So we've come to a stop, so... I'm presuming that means... Well, I feel like we should go in. We don't have Morphe in Glasgow. And yeah. I can see Toothpaste over there. Excellent. Like that, so it's like a little... This is like a nice little... Oh, look at that cosy club. That's got a cute sign. We don't really have time to get... We're going to just get a takeaway and take it with us. So, anyway, into Morphe. I do really enjoy just the, the illustrations. Oh, thank you. And it's like nicely textured as well. So you've got Christmas in New York. It's very pretty. And then the other one that I like is the one that, well, I like them all, but the one that feels most me are Christmas in New York and Christmas in London. Yeah, I think I'm Move like... your hand a bit into the light. Oh, yeah. So sparkly. So I realised I never really finished my Liverpool vlog so I thought I'd just jump on here quickly to wrap it up and to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We really enjoyed Liverpool as a city. As I said we were only there for four and a half hours so the coach trip's a great way to get to see things and sort of introduce you to a place but I would really love to go back to Liverpool properly. Funnily enough, like my friend Jill had messaged me before we went to see how much she enjoyed Liverpool. And then I saw my friend Lindsay earlier this week and she'd actually been in Liverpool right before the pandemic hit and she also really enjoyed it. So it's just, it's a city that's got good write-ups all round. Absolutely love to go back and I think maybe a trip in 2021 will be on the cards or no, this is 2021, 2022. <laughs> if you have been to Liverpool or you live in Liverpool and you've got any recommendations, please leave them down below because I am very much keen to go back to do like the Titanic stuff, to do a couple of the different museums, see a bit more of the city on foot and really getting about it rather than from the coach. The tour guide showed us like the White Star um, building that was the White Star offices, which was the, the line that the Titanic was you know like like the equivalent of British Airways um, like the company that the Titanic was owned by I suppose and that's now made into a themed hotel so keen to go back and uh, go there as well as well as the actual Titanic hotel so 
yeah really really keen to go back to Liverpool such a beautiful city just so many stunning buildings one of the things that I didn't get a good shot of was there's a church that was bombed out during the war but the sides of it have all stayed but the roof was off so things have grown up on the inside and stuff and it's just absolutely beautiful so I would really like to go back to Liverpool so if you get any hints and tips please leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Just as a reminder, I am doing Vlogmas. This was Vlogmas Day 3. So there is a video going up on my channel every day between the 1st of December and the 24th of December. Please do check back for more content. Or if you're watching this well into the future, um, you know there's lots of content to catch up on. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.